All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started and I'll record this meeting for people who can't make it. Um, I'm Melissa. I'm part of the dealer support and website management team for Track True. Um, first of all, excuse me, I'm a little sick and my voice is kind of scratchy. So if you need me to repeat anything, let me know. But I don't normally sound like this. Um, basically, Rich reached out to us recently. About a month ago, we did a special for um, one region of dealers, just going over uh, adding dealer specials. Um, we're also updating service pages across all dealer sites. And a couple other just like special related things we want to make sure you guys know um, how to do or how to ask for help if you're wanting to make updates to your site. Um, so we're just going to kind of go over those couple of things today. And I'll make some pauses if anyone has any questions and then we'll save some room at the end as well. Um, so first things first, I don't know if anyone, everyone here has access to the back end of their site. Um, we as admins of the sites do need to set up logins for you guys. So if you don't have access to the back end of the site, um, just reach out to uh, dealer support and we can get you guys um, all set up that way. Um, basically the URL back end is your dealer URL and then forward slash sitefinity and then you'll be able to log in with your email and password that way. Um, things we're going to talk about today is the different uses for dealer specials. Um, so we have some dealers use it for like seasonal updates. Um, some people use them for just like parts, service, rentals, equipment. Um, and then some people also create like package deals for different like equipment builder packages um, that they want to present on their site. Um, so we're going to go over how to add that content and how to um, implement different widgets on um, your site as well. And then um, about like two months ago, we started updating service pages on across all dealer sites. Um, they're mostly done. Um, so we're gonna go over kind of what those look like, what they offer, um, and how you can do a couple add-ons for that. And then we're gonna just go over some like resources for you guys if you have follow-up questions after the call. So we're gonna look at how kind of things display on the front end first, and then we'll go into the back end. So we'll look at um, how dealers utilize uh, dealer specials and what those kind of look like. As you can see, there'll be kind of a list of the specials on um, their main specials page, and then you can click into each individual special, and they'll have a little bit more of a description and a form that can be filled out and sent to you guys. So we'll look at those in a couple different ways. So this is just on our demo site. You can see there's a couple of like example packages we built. So um, depending on how many specials you have, they'll be listed out here and you'll be able to uh, filter them out by different categories. And then when you click into them, there'll be a little bit more of a description. So there'll be an image, um, contact information, and a form that's pre-filled out with the uh, equipment piece or service special or part special that you're offering there. Go back real quick. As you can see, there's a little like section for disclaimers. It'll populate here. Um, if you want to do pricing, it'll be in the description as well. Another example we have is this dealer is using uh, dealer specials as like package deals. Um, so as you can see, they've kind of created um, multiple tractor packages uh, for different equipment pieces. So they're kind of displayed in the same way. They just have a little bit more information included in them. When you click in, it has the same format with uh, more of a description, disclaimer at the bottom, and a form that will go to um, whatever contact is listed for those forms. And then before I continue, if you guys have any questions that kind of pop up throughout this, Go ahead and throw them in the chat. Um, I have Jen with me here and she can kind of help answer questions as we go along. Um, and then I'll stop a couple more times and we can go over some questions. Um, this little section is kind of going over how to actually add the content in the back end of your site. Um, so we'll go over the different categories that you can create specials for, how to set up publish and unpublishing dates so you can kind of like time out a bunch of specials if you want. Um, and then how to get things on and off of the front end of the site. 
Um, so some thing we have that maybe not a lot of dealers know about is we have like an entire um, like help center of documents and videos that we can kind of send you guys to walk you through making edits to your site like this. Um, so I'll kind of show you what that looks like first. Um, basically just a little article with screenshots and kind of step-by-step -step instructions on how to do pretty much anything on your website. So if at any point you're wanting to go in and kind of mess around with edits to your site, we have this resource for you to kind of go in and, and learn on your own and figure things out. Um, we definitely want you guys to feel comfortable with the back end of Sitefinity and how to make edits to your site. So this is a really awesome resource that we have for you guys. Um, but I'll also do a walkthrough. So when you get to the back end of your site, so again, that'll be your dealer URL with the site uh, forward slash sitefinity. It'll take you to a dashboard similar to this. Um, to get to dealer specials, you just navigate to content. You'll have this dealers category on your drop down in dealer specials. Um, for example, this website has a bunch of specials already listed. Um, you can see that if they're green, that means they're published. If they have an X over them, it means they're unpublished. What this means is that all of the content is still living on the back end of the site for reference. But if there's not a green check mark, it's not going to be published on the site. Um, so this is a good way for you to keep all of your content um, visible to you. But if you ever want to remove or add things to the front of the site, you would do so by just selecting the special. And then you could publish or unpublish as simply as this. To create a special, you would just push this green button to get started. And then there'll just be some boxes that you filled out. Um, so first things first, the type of special is really important. Whatever you select on this dropdown is where it'll populate on the site. So on the front end of your website, you'll have a dropdowns for equipment specials, part specials, service specials. If you have rentals, you'll have a rentals section as well. And whatever is selected in this dropdown is which page it'll be filtered to um, on the widget that's placed on that page. So this is really important. Um, next, you can put a title and a tagline of whatever special you're running. And then you can fill out this description box as, with as much detail as you'd like. It kind of works like a Word document, so you have a lot of different formatting options. If you have any disclaimers, you would put it in the box below. Um, a price and end date if you'd like, but not necessary. And then you could select an image for your special. Um, you can only select up to one image per special, just so you know. But when you select an image, you can upload something from your computer, or if you have anything already uploaded in your libraries, you can select it from here. Once you're all done with inputting everything you'd like, you would go ahead and just click publish and it would automatically be published to the site. Another thing you can do if you are wanting to um, maybe like stagger out a bunch of specials over a course of a few months or a course of a year, say you want to set up like spring, summer, fall specials, you can do it all at once and then you can actually schedule out um, when they publish and unpublish from your site. Um, so that's kind of nice because you can do all the work at once and then not have to worry about it down the line. Basically, once you get all the in, uh, information input that you want here, just go to more actions, publish and unpublish date. Excuse me. Um, let's see. And then it would pull up a publication date that you could select from a calendar on and then an unpublished date that you can go out as far as you'd like and do specific dates. So, well, I've already done a test special before, that's why it's not publishing. But basically, now you've created this special that will publish, is already published, and it's scheduled to unpublish on a certain date. Do you have any questions? I'll take a pause real quick. All right, so far so good. Um, the next thing we're going to go over um, is our new service pages. So this was a request directly from Kubota USA, um, basically just doing a refresh on the service pages across all dealers. 
Um, there's some standard components to it as well as some customizable components to it. Um, some things that are automatically included is you'll have uh, scroller images that kind of uh, that bring up um, the Orange Protection Program, um, that bring up if you have any careers in the field that are um, available. So anything that's published on your site will have a link to that. Um, there's a couple of linked banners, one to the My Kubota app to have customers sign up for it, um, as well as Kubota USA service campaigns. And then there's a section that has uh, like do-it-yourself videos. So those come directly from Kubota USA. Um, so clients or so visitors to the site can find like easy service fixes to equipment that they have. Um, in addition to those kind of like standard features that are on the new service page, there's also a form that you guys can fill out um, that will give you the option of selecting Kubota specific specials um, that are linked to the equipment that you carry. So we'll send you this form. There's about 10 specials on it that you can choose from. Depending on what equipment you carry, you can get those specials published to your site. I'm a visual learner, so I'll just go ahead and show you what it looks like. So basically, you have this scrolling image that links to like a, a contact us page. Um, this will lead to the Orange Protection Program landing page, and this will lead to your careers page. Um, you also have this button banner here that will kind of like bring you to different sections of the page. So it kind of hops down to wherever the content lives. Um, you have specials, bring you to the specials, et cetera, et cetera. Um, these are the Kubota special offers that I mentioned that you can fill out the form to get added to your site. Um, so as you can see, this dealer has about five that they've selected, depending on equipment that they carry. And then um, you can click into the special and it'll take you to a detailed page about the special. Um, this is a little banner about the Orange Protection Program. So when you click into it, it should take you to the Orange Protection page. The site is not, but it should. Um, this next section here, these are those do-it-yourself videos that I was telling you about. Bringing you down further, this is the My Kubota app. So it's taking you to how, or to go right to the Kubota USA so you can download that app. And then there's a blurb about um, career opportunities um, in the service field, as well as a form. So all dealers will be getting this upgrade. Um, Customizable features are updating these uh, specific specials, if you like. I'm going to go ahead and put this form in the chat. So that link to the form is what you can fill out if you want to select um, any of those specials to get added to your service page. Uh, when you fill out the form, it, get, it goes directly to our help desk, so we can get those added into you, it, added in for you, okay? This next thing we're going to go over is an additional widget that you can place um, on other pages of your of your website. Um, so while you have like the drop downs from the top navigation to navigate to specials, you can also place these additional widgets on your homepage if specials are something you really want to push. Um, so there's a little back-end step that we need to do, and then in addition to the actual page. Um, again, this is something that we have a help document on, on our help center. Um, so I, you could just search dealer specials, and you'll get the full instructions on um, how to add this widget to any page on your site. We will go through and do it together. So the first step we want to do is make sure that the specials you're wanting to present on the home page or wherever you place the widget um, are featured specials. So how you do that is you would go into the dealer specials again. Um, I'm going to click into just an example. And then you're going to scroll down and you want to make sure that this dealer special featured checkbox is checked. Um, as long as this is checked, you'll be able to select it as a feature that you um, promote on the widget. So that looks good to go. Let's publish it, make sure it's all set. 
And then we're going to navigate to pages. Typically, this is a widget that dealers want to place on their home page. So we're going to click into the home page. This is kind of the layout of the page. So I'm going to go ahead and find the widget on the right hand side here. And again, all these instructions are included in those help docs. Just scroll over to dealer. We're going to find dealer specials. Here's that widget. Drag in and drop in. Give it a second to populate all the information. And then we'll go in and make edits. So when you first drag and drop the widget, this is kind of like the standard um, layout. I think we can all agree that this isn't very visually appealing. But if you go in and edit the widget, there'll be a couple tabs that you can make selections with. So first things first, uh, the actual content that's pre presented in the widget, this is all published dealer specials. Um, so everything that's published on the back end will be presented on the front end. Or you can just select certain specials. So for the example, I'll just kind of go ahead and select a couple. That checkbox that we did in the first step, um, if that wasn't, if the special wasn't checked, it wouldn't be presented on this list. Select a couple just for example. Then under list settings and single item settings, we need to do a couple things. Under list settings, we need to update the template to showcase. And then single item settings, we want to update that to special details new. When we save it, it presents this way. I'll kind of do a preview so you can take a better look. So basically what we, what we just did was created this current specials banner. So it'll be just the images that are selected with the special and then you can click into more details of these specials. That was interesting. And then it clicks kind of into that same um, form template as before. Any questions? Anything that popped up? Anyone has any questions? That's pretty much it that we're going over today. So it's just kind of all things dealer specials and the new service pages. And just one last thing, we have a couple extra just resources for you guys. Um, I know sometimes like the one-on-one -on -one video calls are really helpful uh, to go over certain things. So we do have um, a Calendly link that you guys can set up calls with us for. Um, we have a few different like time brackets. So if it's something like quick, we have like 15 minute calls. If you wanna do a whole redesign for your site, you can do a longer call. It just kind of depends on what you're looking for. Um, but we do have that as an option. Jamie, go ahead. I saw that you raised your hand. Yes, uh, on the specials, are the pricing, is that fixed or is that able to be edited? It's not fixed. Um, so those are just um, sent over from Kubota USA. Um, when you fill out that form, it's like that first link that I sent you guys, you can choose to have pricing shown or not, um, but you can also make edits to the pricing as well. So you okay. would just go, like how I showed you how to create a special, um, you would just go in and change the pricing that way. Got it. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, of course. And then also like within those specials, um, there are like a couple bullet points of everything that those service specials cover coming from Kubota. But we've had a couple dealers say like, I'm not going to wash your equipment. It's like just take, you can take out that bullet point. There's like you can make edits that fit your dealership. So um, those aren't strict. Um, another resource was the Zendesk Help Center that I was talking about. Um, so this is where you can go and basically just view a whole bunch of different articles um, about all things managing your site. Um, if you ever are kind of poking around in here and you want you aren't seeing um, like a help doc for something you're trying to learn, 
reach out to us and let us know. We're like always creating new docs to help you guys out. Simple social. Um, Dylan, I'm seeing your question in the chat there. Um, we are setting up e-commerce stuff with dealers if it is something you're interested in. Um, I have a ticket open with you through the help desk, so I'll, I'll just reply to you and that about it, okay? I'll make a note of that. Sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, of course. And then, um, like always, you can submit a help ticket um, directly to our email. Um, additionally, uh, on when you log into the back end of your site, there will be a little help button in the bottom right-hand corner that always submits tickets directly to our help desk as well. Um, so yeah, plenty of ways to reach out to us if you need us. But if there's no other questions, I'll give everyone a minute or two, but that's all I got for presenting today. Alrighty, everyone, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. Enjoy the rest of your day, okay? If you need us, reach out. <laughs>